What's up guys, welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. As you could probably tell from the title and thumbnail, today we are starting a brand new project. So let's get into it. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out those links in the description. Today you may be wondering why the heck I am sitting on this massive cabinet. Um, and that is because we are starting a brand new project. Today we are gonna be refurbishing this cabinet right here. I'm gonna be making it look brand new again and we are going to be getting another indoor tank for it. The bad news is, unfortunately, we're not gonna be keeping the mollies which are over in the kitchen. Um, I was, as I said before, I was going to do like a patio pond, which was a patio bowl filled with plants, but unfortunately, we're not gonna do that anymore. But we are going to be doing another fancy goldfish tank, and I'm sure 99% of you will be far happier that I'm doing another fancy goldfish tank rather than the little patio pond with the mollies in it. So we're gonna refurbish this cabinet. I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna clean it up, sort it out, um, and then that will be this video. And then in the coming videos, we're gonna get the tank set up, the filter, and get this brand new tank going. And then we can add some more fancy goldfish. So what fancy goldfish do you want me to keep in this tank? Let me know down in the comments below and tell me what you think I should keep in this tank. It's gonna be around 320 liters. So we've got space for quite a few fish, which is really good. But without further ado, I'm gonna head outside now. We're gonna crack on with this build and get this cabinet looking brand new again. So see you outside. So here is the brand new used cabinet. As you can see, there are loads of scratches on it. Loads of the old paint is peeling off and it is looking really tired and worn. The top has got some wax from a candle and is really scratched up as well. The inside, you can see it's just got a single shelf just resting in there and the cabinet itself is made of pine. It's got some magnets to keep the doors in position and then it's also got two drawers at the top. So the first job was to remove the doors, remove the drawers and also remove the shelf. So we had the bare carcass to start our work on. Luckily the cabinet was a blue color which is perfect because that is the color that we are going to be painting it again. Now as we've stripped everything out of the cabinet and we've taken the shelf out and all the doors and the drawers out next job is to start sanding it all down so i'm just going to take the sander here i'm just going to sand all of this back uh, so it's nice and smooth ready to apply the new paint and then i'm going to really have to go to town on this top because you might be able to notice it's quite scratched up obviously the tank's going to be taking up most of the room on here so it's not going to matter too much but i want to make it look as nice as possible so i'm going to crack on with the sanding and just see how it goes really as you can see, I'm just sanding down all of that paint. I'm not aiming to remove all of it because, to be honest, that would probably take me all day. But I just want to start rubbing it down so it has a nice surface for us to paint over. Nub any of the flaky paint off and make sure the paint that is on there is staying on there and that is not going to come off. As I mentioned, it is a nice dark blue colour which is perfect because we are going to be painting it a dark blue anyway. So that is going to set a really nice background colour for our paint to go on. So now I've finished sanding down all of the sides, I decided to take a knife to remove any leftover wax and then get to work sanding down the top. It would have been better if I had a larger sander and could really go to work on this, but unfortunately I only, only had this small one to hand, but it still did an all right job and it removed lots of that surface scratches, the small scratches and just lots of the old varnish or any remain, remaining oil that was soaked onto that wood and just overall gave a, it a really good rub down. After that I needed to get some wet kitchen towel and just make sure all of the dust was removed from the cabinet so it didn't 
mess up or disturb the spray paint. And as you can see, I'm just giving it the first coat of spray paint. Now, spray paint probably wasn't the best paint to use, but I had it on hand and overall it provided a, a fairly decent effect. It's slightly glossy as well and it matches the kitchen cabinets. It's really close to that those kitchen cabinets in colour, so it's set into the room really nicely. And I eventually gave it three coats in total, which helped hide all of the old paint and gave it a nice lick of colour. So now it was onto the top. After I'd sanded it down, I used a polisher with some wood varnish or wood oil I should say and I polished that into the wood and it gave it a really nice shiny effect and left it looking much much better than it originally was and here you can see that finished piece is looking really good I'm really happy with it you may notice there are a few blemishes and I will go back over those but now it is time to get the handles on the doors and the drawers just so you can see what it looks like so I just got these stainless steel metal handles and we're going to put them on now as you can see they look really nice and it, I'm going to open up the cupboard door just to show you what it looks like inside the cabinet I've actually removed the batons and removed that central shelf and then I pushed the shelf all the way to the back so it created a lot more strength in the cabinet so it couldn't move side to side and it just gave it some more rigidity. You can see in the top right hand corner there are also three holes. Two of those are for the inlet and outlet of the filter and then the other one is for any cable any airline etc etc and I'm going to attach the extension lead right at the top using some velcro and there we have it that is the cabinet refurbished I'm really happy with it and I'm really happy with how it came out I didn't mention but I spent 40 pounds on this cabinet and then I spent around 15 pounds on materials so the cabinet has cost me around 55 pounds to produce or make I suppose you could say and if I was to make it myself from scratch um, with using some wood some ply boards screws etc I reckon it would have cost me around triple that so it is always worth having a little look on Facebook marketplace having a look on Gumtree having a look on eBay to see if you can find some good deals now that cabinet I probably could have got for a little bit cheaper but I really wanted it uh, because I wanted to set this new tank up as soon as possible so I can show you guys at home some more fancy goldfish on the channel because I know that is what you love so I'm super happy with that in the next episode we're going to be getting the glass tank we're going to be doing a background on it I'm going to be getting the filtration ready etc etc and I'm going to be setting that all up so I probably won't have it set up finished in the next episode hopefully in the one after that we will have it full of water and i will be talking about how i'm going to cycle it what method i'm going to use and then i will also be letting you know what fish we get i've had a few suggestions on what to get as we are indoors and the temperature is a little bit warmer we have a lot more range of what we can choose in comparison to the fish that will be staying outside all year round so i'm super excited to announce that I haven't fully decided, but when you see that episode, I will have definitely decided what fish we are going to be getting. And that is the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys at home can try your DIY skills. And if you do, show me on the Facebook group and show all of the members on the Facebook group. As you know, um, about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, we hit 30,000 members, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm so pleased that everyone is enjoying the Facebook group and just helping each other around the world, really, and bringing lots of hobbyists together. But as I said, that is the end of this video. I cannot wait to get that tank set up and I cannot wait to show you guys at home. Any questions, pop them down below. Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.